So let's quickly talk about PDFs here. The point of this video is to kind of summarize the information that's below the link for this video in the Rack Forms documentation that is uh, kind of talking about using background images to basically summarize that briefly and to put this visually uh, for the text that is again below the link in the documentation. So first things first, let's just assume that you want to have an eight and a half by 11 PDF output from Rack Forms. You want it pixel perfect. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, by far, the easiest way is to use the form wizard. So this guy right here to take a PDF original as I have right here, that's eight and a half by 11 to drag it onto our box. Rack Forms will process that for us. It'll create the proper page dimensions for us. And if I select PDF output right here and add a text field, so at least I have something on my form, we're going to get exactly as we would expect, a PDF that has pixel perfect placement of both the background image and the elements with on the page. Now, that's the simplest way. The thing I wanna cover in this video though, with a little bit more detail, is to talk about some of the other ways that we can do that. So let's, instead of using the form wizard, let's say that we can't use the form wizard, maybe we've already started a form, and we just wanna add a background image to it. How would that work? Well, first things first, we're gonna create a form page, and we're gonna set it to uh, free form. So it defaults to sortable, we wanna to go to page properties and set it to free form. Then I want to go down to my page size values and I want to put in the exact values 816 by 1056. This, are, this is the exact dimensions that an 8.5 by 11 PDF needs to be printed at, 816 by 1056. Then I would take something like an image field right here, I would select it, I'd scroll down to where I can upload an image, I'll click on that and then I'll select, and this is very important, a 96 DPI source image. Can't be 72 DPI, can't be 100 DPI, it must be 96 DPI. When we do that then, we have two final steps. We wanna place the image wherever uh, we expect it to go. I wanna select my page and I wanna scroll down under form style properties to page margin and I wanna make sure that gets set to zero. And then finally I wanna enable PDF. And now we should have, just as we did the first time, a pixel perfect representation of our PDF. However, probably one other thing I wanna do um, is set the Z index of my image. You'll notice that my sortable page header kinda of got put behind this guy right here. I wanna set my Z index of this image to zero. So I'll go ahead and click on the image and under field style properties, I'll set element Z index to zero. Watch when I do this, you're gonna see this guy pop in front of that guy, and now I can actually select this and work with it like that. So that's the other way. Another common way to actually work with background images, and I would actually say it's probably a little bit preferred because then we actually don't have like another element on our page, is to actually just use a background image. So I would keep the exact same pixel dimensions as I did right here, 816 by 1056. I would select my page. I usually click on my PDF link here to kind of skip down and then scroll up just a touch. I get to either choose existing image or upload a background image. And once again, very important, I wanna select a 96 DPI image at eight and a half by 11. And when I do that now, you'll notice that once again, the image fits perfectly within the page size that I have. And when I save it, again, we're gonna get pixel perfect uh, output of both the PDF in terms of the background, right? Like everything matches with the edges and the elements are placed exactly where they should be as well. Now, I should point out that maybe exactly isn't quite perfect right now. There are a few notes, as we note in the documentation, that sometimes fonts are a little bit different with the PDF output libraries. So you notice here the O is exactly in line with the screen line right here, but in our form output it's not. And that's because the font is a little bit different between these two. These are things that we're working on, and hopefully with every release of Rack Forms, we're gonna get this a little bit closer to have exact match between the PDF and the form that we have. And by the way, I should actually mention that that's often the case with text fields as well. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is I'm gonna to try to put this guy right on the edge of one of these green borders right here. And when I do that, you'll notice that for the most part, it's gonna be close but as of right now in rack forms, usually it's about three pixels off in every direction. So usually if I'm trying to match something exactly, usually I'll go hold down the option key and I'll say one, two, three, one, two, three. That is, I'll put it down into the right. And now when I run it, I should have 
the exact placement that I want. Again, these are things that we're improving with every release of rack forms so that uh, things should hopefully match exactly where you would expect them to. But for right now, it's pretty close. Within three pixels is usually good enough for most things. But again, we will definitely improve that. So that's basically it then. There's a lot of different options that we can play around with. We actually didn't talk about some of the other PDF libraries like TCPDF or MPDF, but in general, I would say that if you're trying to create PDF output in rack forms, just use the form wizard. If you don't have a PDF original, probably the second best option just for ease of use is to simply use a background image. I usually think that's a little bit easier to work with, but failing a background image, we can always import an image, image, select it, uh, upload an image to that field, and then just make sure that we set its Z index to something that makes sense so that it's not placed on top of other fields and usually zero is a good value for that. So hopefully this helps. If you have any specific questions about PDF, like using different page sizes or maybe some special considerations, please let me know at info at rackforms.com. Always be happy to help. And thanks for watching.